1 Corinthians chapter 12, verses 7 on your bread of life today. And I'm going to read the Amplified Version. And the Bible says, But to each one is given the manifestation of the Holy Spirit, the evidence, the spiritual illumination of the Spirit for good and profit. And allow me to use this for my title, Phanerosis Part 1. Yes, Phanerosis. And tomorrow I'll talk about Phanerosis Part 2. Now, this your bread of life. Phanerosis is really about serving. And I can't imagine that there are people who go to church every week and they've never found a place to serve. You're in the house of God. You need to serve. Okay, you cannot come back home where you are physically. And there are those who are cleaning the compound, there are those who are doing chores and washing this and that. And you're just seated. I find that weird. You cannot just keep eating and eating and eating and don't give out. So all of us need to find a place in church and serve the body of Christ. And this your bread of life is for you because of the phanerosis that I'm going to explain. Okay, so irrespective of who we are in church, all of us have been graciously gifted to serve. And the Spirit has given each of us a special way of serving others. Special in that there are those who are cleaning toilets. That's very special. There are those who are ushers. There are those in security. There are those who are administrators. There are those who are waiting on tables. And all of us have been gifted in a certain way to serve and we all add to the common good of the spread of the gospel you must be doing it and only just partaking of the food amen so and this special way is is not something given to us because we went to the prayer mountain to pray and fast but a phanerosis of the holy spirit according to his will and divine purpose what do i mean by phanerosis in in in, in our theme text the word manifestation in greek is phanerosis from phanero okay which means one an exhibition an extension and a disclosure so when we talk about phanerosis we're talking about an exhibition of gifts an extension of gifts and a disclosure of gifts a, di a disclosure the act of making something evident that is that God reveals the Holy Spirit to us through the spiritual gifts. The moment you have the spiritual gifts, it's evident enough to let you know that the Holy Spirit exists. The person of the Holy Spirit exists. Exists, okay? Number two, phanerosis, we are saying an extension of his gifts given to us, not for show, but for service. Not to magnify ourselves, but to edify others and to spread and advance the gospel. Phanerosis, an exhibition, that is to express who God is through the gifts given us in 1 Corinthians chapter 12, verses 8 to 10, the word of wisdom, the word of knowledge, faith and miracles and prophecies and the working of miracles and diverse gifts and the interpretation of gifts. These are gifts that have been given to us, the phanerosis of these gifts. Hallelujah. Not because we prayed, but the phanerosis of these gifts are given to us by the Holy Spirit. So in you, you have the word of wisdom, you have a word of knowledge, you have faith, you have uh, a, a, a prophecy, you have diverse tongues, and you can use this for the purpose of edifying the church, but you are sitting on them. Okay? Don't just go to church to fit in. Go and stand out through these gifts that have been given to you, the phanerosis of these gifts is not for us to come to church and just fit in, but to come to church and stand out by serving and expressing ourselves through these gifts. Am I making sense? That's why we call it the phanerosis of these gifts. For example, the phanerosis of the working of miracles, among other gifts, is given you to show who God is and reveal the Christ to the people you are serving as you are by the toilets for example you're there to show them who god is and to reveal the christ as you are ushering you're there to show them who god is and to reveal the christ the question is for you who is serving are you are, are you showing god this are you showing these people who god is and are you revealing the christ whether you are preaching or teaching or evangelizing or leading or an administrator or a missionary are you are you showing people who god is and are you revealing the Christ? This is the phanerosis of the spiritual gifts that you have, especially these nine that I'm talking about from the context. Okay, so friends, the phanerosis of these gifts is a trust put in your hands. Okay, 
it is a trust put in your hands that word of knowledge is a trust put in your hand that faith is a trust put in your hand that working of miracles is a trust put in your hand okay the, the prophecy is a trust put in your hands so that the more you profit others with them the more abundantly they turn to your account in the end glory to god so that's what i've laboring to say the phanerosis of these gifts the manifestation of these gifts given to us is so that we go to church not to just fit in but to stand out and if you realize that everyone who is serving through these gifts they are standing out in one way or another because the more you serve the more god will spread your name the more he'll make you famous the more it will make you strong till you become very strong. And everyone who serves in the body of Christ, you can see that they are getting strong in the faith and their bearing in the spirit is just getting stronger and stronger and stronger and stronger. So my friends, this is what I'm telling us to do. Keep doing this. The phanerosis of these gifts is so you don't fit in, but stand out. And as you stand out, I can guarantee you that the best is yet to come.